Welcome everyone. Right now, still the very first thing I gotta need to do is to get a silk touch book. Or at the very least a silk touch pick, cause I'm gonna need it at end busting. So that's at the very least the first part of my adventure. So I'm gonna need to roll a villager and after that, well, we're gonna see. And yes, as for this, I had a raid of zombies. So yeah, this protection guy is a zombie, but I'm not gonna do a thing with him for now. Well then, see you later. And here we are, I finally got me my silk touch book, so I'm quite happy with it. Now I can just try to go to the nether and kill a lot of the endermen. Try to find the fortress, get me a blaze, blaze rods, uh, trying to make the ice, find the fortress. I mean I can find the fortress through a seed map, it would be faster, more efficient, but no, I won't do that cause I want to make it more authentic. Well, I just want to experience the real Minecraft experience. Okay, that was it. So this is quite a tricky situation. I'm right in as you can see i found a fortress but yeah there is a place spawner so i gotta be careful i know what to do but it's annoying yep hit and not hit and hit on yeah I don't have enough food, so I can only hope I will survive this. Let's yolo it. Okay, 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 great. Yep, like this, like this. The wither skeletons cannot spawn on netherrack blocks, so they were listed. That's my saving grace. Yeah, the places are kinda annoying. Do I try to get inside? I can... Nope. Make it like this. Please don't die. Oh yeah. Gotta make it like this. This is nerve-wracking. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm dead. I'm dead. I should have taken fire rest. I lost all my diamond gear. No, I'm pissed off. I mean, I can trade back and I'm gonna trade it back. Yeah, this purse. Yep, bye bye. At the very least, you know, I did not fake it. I don't fake deaths. Oh my god, no, I'm pissed. Well, I can only try it a bit later, cause I've got no backup gear. See ya later. I got a normal golden helmet, the things from the trader, I enchanted an infinity onto a bow and then as you can see nothing else. The fortress, I did find it when I was exploring the nether a bit, cause I've gone firstly to the right side, but then I tried to go to the left side and there I found it. As you can see, I found it from the bottom side. And yeah, here I tried to go through and then I saw a fortress. I've gotta make it a little bit more safe, but, oh, yes. See? Because of them, the golden pearl. Right now I wanna get me some blaze powder. Oh god. Like this and like this. Because the wither skeletons are only free high. <gasps> yes! We need the nether ward for the, you know, brewing potions and so on. Diamonds. Yeah, I put it here. This is what I wanted for the most part. I will come a bit later for more of the blaze powder, cause I want to make me some potions. 
so yeah but this thing you won't see i'm gonna make an another adventure the next time you're gonna see me is probably gonna be the moment i'm gonna try to find the end portal hello there can you guess who died again yes it was me crack so as you can see i was quite pissed off <laughs> I did some villager trading for the last 3 or 4 hours. Yes, the gear I uh, did just get from this guy. And I did get finally a power bow. I proved me uh, some potions of fire resistance. I've got two of them in my inventory. Looting free guy for 19 emeralds. Feather falling. He has sweeping edge too, but as you can see a bit later, here I have a guy with the three. Finally, the two ones I rolled for a really long time is a power guy and then a sharpness guy. I'm finally happy, I've got most of the trading behind me. I mean, I'm still gonna roll for the aqua affinity, respirations and so on, but this will be for a little bit later after killing the drake. I've got me my traders for, yes, so I can use efficiently my farm, as you can see. Thanks to them, I get some carrots too. That's my new and last food source, of course, golden carai. As you can see, I compressed, I use it, I tried it a little bit, so yes. Right now, I'm ready to go to the nether again, as you all know. The third time is the charm, and I can just hope I won't die again. I mean, what did I die for? Sweeping edge and looting free, with sharpness. Four blazes, and I've got already 15 blaze rods. This is crazy, I mean, come on. I really am a Minecraft vet, more or less to speak, cause I played this game for a few years, always on and off. But still, this is getting me crazy, like, come on, look at the mobs. As you can see, Blaze, 43 I killed, the Blaze killed me one time, but, uh, you know, I killed uh, the last times only 3 or 4 Blazes and they dropped 15 Blaze rods with looting 3. I mean, I knew villager tradings are really strong, but man oh man, and the bow, I won't even say, it helped me that much. It's crazy, it's driving me a little bit. I mean, I've forgotten about it, but still, I want to rant. Next up, we're gonna have a little clip of me killing creepers. Ah, so the eye is going to the ocean. Well then, let's go. I've got my boat. I do get a funny feeling it's gonna be an ocean one. Make it till I break it. Or break it till I make it. Well then, let's show the second eye. And plop. Come on, my eye. Where are you? I did see you. Ah, there you are. If you want to see the hitboxes of entities, press F3 and B. This can help you a lot in the future. I didn't know I had icebergs that nearby. I mean, that I am surprised about. And an ocean monument? Wait, that's the second one. Cause the first one I earlier found, I mean in episode 2 or 3, it was that direction. This is the second one. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so we are here and I'm gonna throw an eye. Oh, it's that direction. As you can see, I just moved a little bit from the direction. Here is the monument I just found. And here is the first one. <laughs> Man, this is so crazy. I love this seat. I mean, it was truly a random scene. See, I didn't look it up, but I'm glad I found it. 
and I'm glad I could make a series about it. At the very least, a lot of people can try to make this it for themselves and find some crazy things. I love it, for real. Let's throw on another eye. Okay, so we go back. I do have a funky feeling it could be here. Let's try it again, this way. I misclick it always. Okay, so we just go a little bit. But we are getting closer and closer. Ah! Is it going back or is it going down? Yep, it's going back. Yep. There we go. It should be here. Let's try it on the water. It's just gone away. Here. Okay. I don't have a shovel. My last one it was destroyed. So yeah. And we can only hope we get the stronghold soon. I totally forgotten that you can use torches underwater to create an air pocket to recharge your oxygen intake. Here we are! Finally! Okay, now I'm gonna look for the room and I'm gonna check it out with you guys a bit later. There we go. Yes, finally. I can light it up a little bit. Ooh, we've gotten... I armor trim. This is nice. This is really nice. Okay, so now I want to make this. A little bit of ambience. More or less I just want <laughs> to mop proof it. And first I want to have an ender chest. Second, I want to make a portal. Mm, the rest can go here. Here you go. You will go here. And you will go here. Okay. Next up, I want to... Yes, clean this up. Nice. I will use it right now. Great. I mean, I have a potion, so I shouldn't die. And we are in the middle of nowhere. But I want to have the cords, which are great. I will later sync it up, the portals, because you can do that. Mm, do I need a pick? Oh yeah, I don't have a trapdoor. Please be a library somewhere here. Library, library. Maybe a library somewhere in here? Gracious! You... Stupid bat. Maybe here? Or no. After gathering the 10 planks that I needed, I'm going back to the nether portal by the end portal. I've got those things. Most of them are here. Yeah, trapdoors move here, this side move here, and the pearl. Oh yes, the bed, the save point. So I can go back. Well then, let's go kill a dragon. Okay, how does it look? It's not the worst, not the best, but we should be able to, yes. I just want to warn you folks, the rest of the dragon fight won't have much of a commentary, but I want to try to cut it so you'll be all quite happy with the footage. So you can all just look at me how I fail. <laughs> 
Well, whatever. And slowly until we get the stairs, we go slowly up and let's go fight the dragon. Okay, second one down. Okay, let's see, this is all clear, yep, I can jump down, ah, the drake, the feather falling, four boots coming in clutch, wait, I know she has a name and that she's a she, it's Sally or Jean or something like that, I don't really know, I forgot. And so let us the fight begin. Slowly we're gonna whittle her down. Slowly but surely. I do am aware that there exists a bad strategy with an obsidian block which you can use to deal a massive dam damage onto the drake but I'm not sure how to use it so I'm not gonna use it. Yeah, sniper. Let's get there, boys and girls. Let's go. Fight, fight. Yes. Oh, she's immune. I gotta go close. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Get a heal, get a heal. Let me get the heart of the drake. She will run away in time. Oop. Okay. Still alive. Okay, I'll wait a bit. Oh, yeah, I looked at you. I know. Come on, die. One more. Yes. GG. Okay, that was the end. Okay. And we finished the game, we finished the series, and that's gonna be it. Well then, see you never. <laughs> oh well. Okay, that was a joke. But yeah, do we take it? Yeah, we take it, why not? Okay, torch. The easiest way to get it, get an egg. Well, thank you for watching. This is gonna be it for this episode. If you want to see me end busting, it's gonna be on the what channel. There is gonna be a more or less uncut version. It's gonna be fun. So yeah, bye.